Hello guys, so if you're wondering where I am, I came to a sauna. It's starting to get cold. Let's go inside. Hey Subaki, how are you? Privet. Come to Mumana. But what's nice about the sauna comes with a little dog. Maybe he'll come in. Get get one. Divite. So here we are guys. If you notice, I'm actually the first one here. Let's do the whole place myself. But I'm meeting four random Ukrainian guys. <laughs> one I met last year briefly in the park and he invited me here with his friends. So let's see how this goes. First things first. <clears throat> Gotta get sauna ready. Ready guys, let's go. So I guess while I wait for the guys, uh, I'm gonna do a little tour. So this is a traditional wooden sauna, we're right on the Dnipro River. And it's about 10 degrees out right now, which is probably like in the 40s or something. So it's not freezing, but it is cold. So it's gonna be nice. So starting with the actual sauna itself, ooh. Nice and hot in here. So it's a uh, wood burning and brick inside. It's nice. Although it's nowhere as nice yeah. as the sauna we went to in the Carpathians. For those of, of you who remember uh, this towel and that video, that was such a better experience. I mean, first we were in the snowy mountains, and uh, also I'm sleeping with four guys. I'm with uh, three or four girls. Unfortunately, um, Anne and Anastasia are both uh, out of Ukraine now. Ever since the war started, you know, Anne is living in France, and I think Anastasia is also somewhere in Europe. So it's a huge shame that, you know, because of the Russian invasion. Um, yeah, everything's changed. Enough for the better. Here we have a nice big picnic table for food and snacks. For China for tea. We have a shower with a uh, cold plunge. Ooh. Cold water and a toilet. Here we go. During all last winter, I went to different saunas. Uh, there's like some like sauna clubs and groups. Usually it's just like groups of friends that just, you know, have a weekly get together. There was one with like the yoga group. But in general, it's kind of like a, a friends thing to get together. Uh, be careful though, if you Google sauna club in like Germany or the US, <laughs> or actually in Thailand too, it'll, def it'll definitely be a gay sauna, but this is a straight one, don't worry. Even though it's just me for, for now. Oh, there's a light. Ooh, guys. I was just in there for 10 minutes and I'm ready. It's super hot. What I like about this place where you create a general is even though our reservation was at 7.30 p.m. and we got here exactly at 7.30, it was already ready to go. It's pretty hot with fire in there. There's no messing around. It's good to go, guys. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hello. Max, come in. Oh, no, this is what's next. No, it's oil. Oh, it's oil. <laughs> These are snacks. <laughs> Some chorizo. It's all meat. It's all meat. Yeah. It's all, all we meat. need. We're all men, so that's all we need. Meat, meat. beer. Meat and beer. And fish. Uh, no, it's chicken. Chicken. Oh, wow. Okay. Sausage. Okay. Everything a man needs, right? Beer and sausage. <laughs> and very, very cool. Nice. Uh, Guys, I just spent 10 minutes inside and it's 115 degrees Celsius. I'll put that, whatever that is, in Fahrenheit low, but it is super, super hot. I think it'll get cooler soon after we open the door a few times and people start throwing water on it. But right now, I feel like my mitochondria is 
regenerating, which is always good. And now, now time to destroy our health with some sausages and beer. Yeah, could you smell snow? Check this lake outside. Some kids playing here. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> She was like, yeah, yeah, it's there. There's river. On the wrong side, the road. <laughs> Not far. So well, guys, we're at the river. I'm not gonna go on this round, but maybe next round I'll go. In. <laughs> yeah. Cause I, I'm already cold just uh, walking here, like in the wind, you know. Yes. Actually, here it's not deep at all. It's really shallow here. So I think we can even just uh, walk in from here. Uh, maybe we will see. Yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, this doesn't look the safest, guys. <laughs> oh my god, it's yeah. crazy hot. What is the question? <laughs> <laughs> All these crazy guys are making it, uh, doing some kind of like ceremony where it makes it hotter. <laughs> my sawing has started. I think that's enough, guys. I'm glad I came, though, because uh, I feel really good, actually. I think uh, the Finns, the Finnish guys, they know they, they know the secret to happiness. Gotta have a nice hot sauna at least once a week, especially when it's cold out. It's a nice day today, guys. Kaikki suomalaiset edustavat saunomiskulttuuria. Jokaisella on oma tapaansa, oma perinne. Voidaan sanoa, että et, tota, jokainen on saunomisen asiantuntija. Suomalaiset on sauno aina, voisiko näin sanoa. Kesäisin, kesäisin saatetaan käydä vaikka joka iltakin, talvisin sitten ehkä vähän harvemmin, mutta semmoinen yleisin saunapäivä on lauantai. Tämmöisessä vuotuiskierrossa tärkeimmät juhlapyhät, joulu ja juhannus erityisesti on semmoisia, mihin valmistaudutaan sitten. Siinä on, yhdistyy rentoutuminen ja voi, asetta, uno, voi unohtaa kaikki asiat, kaikki päivän asiat. Voi elää sitä hetkeä, mitä elät sillä hetkellä.
новой платформы, так само тут ты занимаешься, чтобы да, так само трактовать в посылке прийти. <laughs> Alright guys, it's been three hours here, it's been really nice, relaxing, chill night, and yeah, it was easy. We shipped in, it was about 10 bucks a person, 320 or 20 grivna, so yeah, I can see why people want to do this every week with friends. It's nice and healthy, guys. Let's go. Alright guys, that's a wrap. Okay. Bye -bye, bro. Thank you for today. You're yes, welcome. Thank See you, you next time. See you next time. Papa. Send you See you next Bye. time. See you. Okay, thank you. this road is try to get out of here but I'm basically water forwarding <laughs> Always really relaxing being in there and just uh, having some time, just uh, you know, have a little mental uh, well-being. I met these guys last year during the winter, kind of randomly, and they do this almost every week. Uh, they get together with friends and they just rent a sauna. Uh, funny enough, they never invite their girlfriends or wives because they want to have this guy time to talk and you know to talk about life, what's going on. Uh, it was interesting hearing their thoughts on how the war is going and you know their brothers and family and friends who are, who are actively serving and just like from a ukrainian perspective you know uh it's also a good way for me to practice my ukrainian and russian because some of them don't speak that much english which made me as why i didn't have on the video um but yeah it's uh something i really enjoy doing and, and a big part of the ukrainian culture that i really enjoy I know the Finnish sauna almost every day. But actually, I think the Finns do it alone. <laughs> so I like it, th this style. Uh, I really want this to be part of my, my life, especially as autumn is getting a little bit chillier. It's not too bad right now. It's 10 degrees, which is like 50 Fahrenheit. Uh, but it's gonna approach zero very, very soon, guys. Very soon, so. Stay tuned, I'll show you what more of my daily life and weekend life is like here in Ukraine during winter. And here we are. Oh, I just shot it. You can see how people are dressed for fall now. It's very different than it was just a month ago. For the shorts and t-shirt weather. Sitten sassit ja puomet ja passat juu. Korsussa kaaminaa, siellä pelataan nakkia raaminaa. On meillä fritsit ja maksit ja petropamaksit juu. On täällä tallattu ja maata vallattu. On täällä koukittu ja teitä noukittu. On soota huimaa, niin juuno päätä huimaa. Ja ihanaa, on rönsässä käristetty, kiristetty, matkahan varistettu juu. 